Despite being shorthanded and undermanned, the Pittsburgh Steelers were able to beat their AFC rival, the Cincinnati Bengals, 16 to 10. I am very impressed with how the Steelers played. They don't have the starting quarterback, they don't have the starting running back, and they did not have the starting wide receiver. And they still found a way to beat the Bengals. I'm very proud of this team. Most teams would have given up. Most teams would have just found a way to lose this game. But no, not the Steelers. So the Steelers found a way to win. And they're going to keep on winning. If the playoffs were to end... Excuse me. If the season were to end today, the Steelers would be a wild card team. They would be in the playoffs. So I'm glad that they beat the Bengals 16 to 10. I know that Rudolph got benched in the third quarter. He does need to step up his level of play. Now, thank goodness, Duck Hodges came in and he threw a touchdown pass to Washington. So I'm glad he was able to come in in relief of Rudolph and throw a touchdown pass to help the Steelers win. So the Steelers offense, as we know, has got to play better. They've got to be very careful with the football. Despite being shorthanded and undermanned, they've got to find a way to continue playing well. The formula for the students winning is very simple. They've got to take care of that football on offense and then on defense. They've got to play last out football. They've got to create sacks and turnovers. That's how the Steelers will win. Speaking of the, of the Steelers defense, I'm very proud of them. To hold the Cincinnati Bengals to 10 points is very impressive. They held Mixon to 79 yards, and our quarterback for the Bengals feeling did not do too much. And on top of that, wow, Devin Bush, he caused that fumble on that Bengals player. And then Minka Fitzpatrick, Mr. Johnny on the spot, recovered the fumble and returned it the other way for some yards. So the Steelers defense is playing very well, which I predicted would happen. I believe in the Steelers defense. They're coming along very, very well. I'm hoping that the offense will continue to improve, and I believe they will. Mike Tomlin will get into their ear. He will find a way to motivate them to play better. Like I said, Rudolph has got to step up his game. Luckily, the Steelers had Duck Hodges, who came in and did well. So they have a little bit of depth on the quarterback position, which is good. But I still believe in Rudolph. I still believe he can play. But if he does struggle, at least the Steelers know they can go to Duck Hodges. So that's, that's a good thing. This team is playing well overall. I like what I'm seeing. Hopefully Connor will come back. Hopefully Judas Smith-Schuster will come back on offense because that will definitely give this team a boost. This team is just, they're just finding a way to win. They're overcoming so many obstacles. And I'm proud of them. I'm very proud of them. Most teams will not be in playoff contention losing star players on offense. To lose Ben Roethlisberger and Judas Smith-Schuster and James Conner, to lose those three talented offensive players and to still be competitive, that is amazing. Like I said, most teams cannot do that. But the Steelers are doing it. They're just finding a way to win. Good teams find a way to win. Bad teams find a way to lose. The Steelers are a good team. And they're going to keep on playing well all the way into the postseason. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I greatly appreciate it. And also, by subscribing, you won't miss out on, on any future content that I post. So you should definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.